Taste for Greek yogurt depends on the palate, of course. No arguing, though. The industry, even here in the Capital District, has made a big economic impact. But there are some concerns. New York already has relaxed regulations allowing farmers to add more cows to their farms. But fat fact finder Matt Markham discovered that not everybody is cashing in on Greek yogurt. We're proud that we've had an impact, a positive impact, on the economic uh, area of upstate New York. Some call it more than just a spoonful of support for upstate farmers from nearby Faye Dairy. So yogurt comes from here that goes to the coast of California all the way up to Maine. So it covers the whole country right out of here, out of this, out of the Johnstown area. Other companies in the state have expanded out west to fix an urge for Greek yogurt. Do those future plans include staying in New York? Well, you can see the amount of investment that we're making here, so the picture tells the story. This picture will cost Faye a hundred million dollars in the next year and a half. The State Farm Bureau notices a healthy crop cultivated around the plant. It all takes milk to make that yogurt, so it starts with dairy farming, but Faye keeps growing. They keep hiring local workers and investing in their plant using local suppliers. This is our main area where the yogurt comes out and then is packed and distributed across the United States. This is the room where the finished product goes out to the market, now has the capacity to produce 85,000 tons of yogurt a year. By the end of the expansion, it'll be 160,000 tons. Even more, FIA will be relying on area farmers. Are dairy farms truly benefiting from these Greek yogurt places in New York? No. Uh, that's the... Simple truth, no. John Radliff calls himself one of the little guys with 40 dairy cows on his farm near Cobleskill and dairy going to Faye on weekends. I'm not going to stake my life, my business on whether they're buying milk or not. Mm -hmm. It's just another market. It's just another market, and it's a good market, but it's not going to produce any more money for me. Ratliff won't be adding any more cows either, saying it's a risk to meet a dairy demand increase. Paying off the loan, you'd have the money you'd have to borrow to build a barn, to put on more cows, to work, to get extra land, whether you purchase it or rent it. Are New York dairy farmers meeting FIA's need? Yes. We, we have uh, been very happy with the New York dairy farmers' ability to uh, meet demand and to be flexible as demand has grown. FIA is planning to add 150 jobs, bringing the workforce at the plant to 400. It all started with one shop in Greece, like one little farm in Cobleskill. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. Well, dairy pricing is controlled through a complex system that includes the federal government and dairy cooperatives. It's a four-class system with fluid drinking milk. The highest price category, yogurt milk, follows. The Farm Bureau tells Matt that it advocates for a reconstructed two-class system to give dairy farmers better opportunities.